Hi, Sally. Hi, Manish. You can talk about you. Okay, so I am Sally Nogire. I am from Pune. Uh, currently, I am working in Core Card Software Private Limited. As a part of uh, my working experience, I have mainly worked on two projects, Plat and Jazz. In Plat, uh, first, uh, in first 1.5 years, I was uh, included or uh, I have experience in regression testing as well as uh, in execution. So I was working in regression task where, uh, where I was uh, uh, verifying the automation scripts for the fail steps and by discussing the fail step with the test case owner or the leader or whatever whoever the my mentor is uh, we uh, i was debugging that uh, fail steps and uh, log the result or log the defect whatever the case is then test case execution whichever test case is, is created by the test case owner uh, of the that of particular feature i was executing the particular test cases then uh, uh, after 1.5 years i moved to the jazz project where my roles and responsibility was uh, feature testing i was testing the uh, different type of feature different requirement we will uh, which we uh, we were receive uh, as a part of enhancement or a uh, new feature so uh, in this the BAs uh, collect the requirement and uh, after that when we receive the uh, requirement then we will have we will have uh, the back uh, uh, backlog ref uh, refinement meetings where we were discussing about what uh, what is the requirement and what need to be done uh, the BAs makes us, uh, makes us understand the requirement and then uh, then BAs uh, add this requirement or the feature understanding uh, to the stories and where he add as well the requirement documents as well. We were referring that uh, documents as well as the story points. I was preparing the test case scenarios and get it approved by the uh, my mentor or my team lead and after that uh, they uh, will give uh, they will give some review comments and I was working on that review comments and updated uh, my scenarios as per that and prepare the test cases after the build comes uh the my, uh, the part of my my working is execute the particular test cases then defect uh, if any defect is there and track the defect or retest the defect and uh, log the result whatever maybe the result is whether it is it isn't basically it was in percentage so what what is the result is and then send the sign of mail uh, to my uh, project manager or my lead so this was uh, my roles and responsibility in my project and apart from this i have also aware about selenium and as well as java where in selenium i am aware about few concepts like how to handle or uh, drop down the locators the, the data providers the test ng concept the POM concept and in java i am aware about method overloading tokens method overriding then super calling statement uh, super keyword this calling statement type casting i am aba uh, aware about these kinds of concept and i am aware about few types types of SQL queries as well, which I was using in my organization. So this is all about me, Manish. Well, that's good. I just want to know your total years of experience as of now. It's a 4.9 years of experience. 4.9 years of experience. Yes. That's good. So are you comfortable with this video going live on my YouTube channel? Yes, Manish. Okay, that's good. Fine. Uh, uh, if you can tell me a few questions from Test TestNG, shall we start? Yes. I also want to let you know, uh, is your Eclipse open? If it is not mm. open, then make it open in the background because as of okay. now, I don't need Eclipse. As of now, I have some verbal question to be asked but you can make sure your eclipse is open in five sure yes okay. it is open okay my question is uh is it possible for a single class to have two at the rate of test if so can i have the same uh priority in both the at the rate of test annotations yes it is possible to have two at the rate of test and have same priority as well in that case which at the rate of test will get executed first uh, if both at the rate of test having same priority uh then that uh then the test execute uh, as per the alphabetical order of the method name so which method name having the it has alphabetical order a so that a uh, test will get executed and if some at the rate of test having b then that will get executed later understood do you know how to configure your test engine in both java project as well as maven project yes if you can just uh, guide me the steps okay in uh, java project uh, we need to uh, download test engine uh, from the eclipse marketplace and we have to install and whatever may be the dependencies are there we need to add test ng libraries in uh, the java project and in case of maven project we have inbuilt pom.xml file and we have um, www.mavenrepository.com so from there we can get the dependencies whichever we are required like uh, if we require test ng then uh, the test ng version whatever the dependencies are there whatever the selenium driver is there we have to get the dependencies in our pom.xml file and we have
have to put there. That's correct. And That's correct. Uh, if we want to upgrade uh, in pom.xml file, we have to just need to uh, change the version of it. So it will get upgraded. As well. That's good. Uh, just want to know in your project, uh, which one you work with, Java project or a Maven project? Uh, basically, uh, I was working with the Maven project uh, and few times the Java project. Okay, that's good. Will you be comfortable to write a program uh, to check if the given string is a palindrome or not? Palindrome. Mm, I'm not aware about one. Okay. But do you know to reverse a string? Yes. Then that's all it is. <laughs> you know okay. the meaning of palindrome? No, I didn't know. But... Okay. Palindrome means, so you can ask the interviewer. That's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Other than telling, I don't know. You know, actually, let me tell you. Hmm. Okay. See, palindrome means, uh, let's read your name. So S A Y A L I. But if I read from backside, it is hmm. I L A Y A S. So it is not a palindrome because it is not the same from forward and backward. But you take example of, uh, let's say, mom, M O M. You read it from front or back, it is mom only, like a dad, D A D, D A D, like hmm. radar, R A D A R, R A D A R. Are you getting my point? Yes. So if you know to reverse a string, so you keep on first input string, your output string is going to be reverse of it. Then you check if both are equals or not. There is a string function you might be knowing called as uh, equals. String dot equals. Which yes. check whether the two strings are equals or not. That's all. Okay. Okay. Want to try? Yes. Go ahead. Shall I share now? Yeah, go. Ahead. See, if you have any question in the in the in the question that I've asked, you can still ask me question. There, there is no problem. And the same okay. thing you can maintain in every interview. That's not a problem. So you have any question in the in the question that I've asked, you can ask me. <laughs> okay, uh, not like this. Uh, I'm asking you the logic. Okay, logic. logic. Logic to reverse a string. So, you should not do like this. Uh, you should, you have to, I'm asking you to do it, the reverse a string with the help of the, uh, with the logic that you have to create by your own. Okay, so I can uh, reverse the string by using the string functions like caret and exactly, just... exactly. Yes, that way we can also do. This. So I thought uh, I can do this way also. So I have. Uh, actually, interviewer don't entertain this. They want to okay. see whether you can write the logic or not. Okay. Uh, that's why you have a for loop. So you should not do this. Okay. With the help of for loop and so. No, 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 not this way. Not this way. 
by the way, the way you are doing is wrong because you're trying to reverse a string, right? Yes. So that means you have to play from here, not from zero. Getting my point? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But uh, uh, I can put uh here uh I can put right. I can do this way also, right? So if it if it is suppose if it is. I can do this way also, right? Yes, you can do like this also. But see, uh, still... Um, uh, like uh, it is index of 6, 6 minus first... I totally case, understood. Sorry. I totally understood, yeah. Yeah, here, if I put 1 here... But you're not understanding the consequence of it. See. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what is the return type of care at? It's a string. Check, check once. Hover over car at. What cat. is the return term? Car. Car. See, uh, I asked a question first to reverse this string. And let's say you have reversed your string and let's say you're storing it in the car data type. And later, I have asked you to perform the string function to check if a dot equals your whatever is present, whatever you have reversed it, right? See, string function only works with string string, not with string and care. Are you getting my point? Yes. Like if I'm string and you are string, we can, like we both can work on a string function. But if I'm a string and you are a care, then our string function will not work. So so this is your string, but here you are uh, data, you're storing it in care. So your string function will not work here. So what I'm trying to say you, your input is string, your output must be a string only. So you have to store the output in the string only. How to do that, you have to think. No issues. Shall we move on then? Or you want time, you can let me know. No, we can move. Okay, okay. Okay, so can you talk a little bit about invocation count? Yes, uh, invocation count is one of the parameter of test engine. Uh, if we provide, if we want to execute the same test case multiple times, then we can use invocation count. And uh, yeah. and we can put uh, in front of test invocation count uh, uh, how many times the test should get executed. Understood. Suppose in a class there are three at the rate of test, but in one of the at the rate of test, we have invocation count equals to 10. Mm -hmm. So how many total test cases will get executed? 10. No, 10. No. Uh, uh, can you repeating my question. Oh, yes. There is a class in which there are three at the rate of test. Okay, okay. But in one of the at the rate of test, we have 10 uh, invocation counts. So total number then, of test cases will be how many? 12. 12, 12. that's the right answer. Okay, yes. that's wonderful. Can you uh, talk about different annotations that you have in the test engine? Yes, it is before suit, then before test, before class, before method, at the rate of test, then it is after method, after, uh, after method, then after class, after after test and after suit uh, and apart from this we have at the rate of parameters at the rate of data provider and listeners as well oh that's great that's and great. at the rate of find by two see at the rate of find by is not the annotations of uh, test engine no okay okay that's fine so can you uh, let me know a few things about the relation between your at the rate of test with before method and after method what is the relation between them what i'm asking is if you have single at the rate of test and one before method and after method how it executes when you have two at the rate of test and one before method and one after method how it executes give me a little idea uh, if we have one at the rate of test and one before and one method so first before method get executed then and that particular at the rate of test and then after method get executed if we have to add the rate of test then uh, before method 
first add the rate of test, then after method, then a uh, before method, second add the rate of test, and after method will get executed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's write a simple program where uh, I will expect you to find out the area of a circle using uh, the human input at the runtime. So you have to take a radius at the human input at the runtime. Shall we try? Yes. You can share your screen. Yes. Radius at the runtime, right? Yeah, radius at the runtime. What is this? Oh, this is sorry, it's a typing. No, no, no. Not the double value should come from the runtime because it is a fixed value, right? So what you had done yes. before was fine. Okay, I thought it's supposed to take from. Okay. That's right. That's right. Uh, one thing just want to tell you, whatever you have done here is absolutely correct. 
but uh, wherever there is a universal truth right uh, which cannot be changed or there is no need to change in the future you, such things you can always make it as a final final and static so that you can access it okay. anywhere you feel like but yeah this approach okay. is also fine that's good uh, you can tell once why have you used final here because uh, the pi value is constant and we cannot change its value so okay that's good the answer is absolutely correct that's great okay you might have heard in java that there are many types of equals first is single equals second is double equals and there is one more equals called as uh, s1 dot equals right can you differentiate the three please first means uh equals the symbol right a equals to 10 uh -huh, yes so a is equal to 10 means we are assigning value 10 to the uh variable a then equals equals uh suppose a is equal to is equal to b means uh, we are comparing both a and b if they are equal or not and then second equals means uh, we are comparing two strings with each okay. other okay that's right that's right okay can you uh, uh, do one problem on selenium comfortable yes okay i just want you to do a program of handling uh, auto suggestion it can be of your any favorite application i'm fine and from the list of auto suggestion i wanted to select the fifth element okay fifth element right okay. fifth element. uh my screen is not shared right no not shared. Can this method also be static? Just asking. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, go ahead. Sally, once this program is done, we will try to do the parallel testing for this particular test case. Okay. Okay. You can uh, tell about what exactly you are doing. You can keep explaining so, and doing it. Okay. 
I'm inspecting here uh, the search field where I want to send some data so that auto suggestion comes and I want to select the particular auto suggestion from whatever I have sent. Okay, good. So which which uh, locator is your favorite? Mm, ID XPath. ID and XPath, okay. Uh, I guess, uh, can you try with tag name? Yeah. Just, just, just see. I, I, I hope it it will work here. Just give it a try. I'm, I'm not sure, but you can check it once. Next video. Uh, just do one thing. Go back there. Just do Control F. Yeah. No, no, no. In the elements HTML code, Control okay. F. Yes. Paste what you have copied. Uh, the the double forward slash and then this. Okay, press enter. Uh, mm. Two uh text areas are there. Okay, then you do the way you want. That's fine. Okay, here we can do indexing also X path. Yeah, we can. You can write that. your beautiful expat. Uh, I'm. I'm okay. I don't want to confuse you. I guess the spelling is wrong text area. Yeah, I have corrected that. Okay, okay. Oh, you're getting it? Yes. Go ahead. It go is ahead. selecting it. Okay. Why the return type of a find element is a web element only? Why not it is list of web element is my question. Uh, it is uh, returning the single elements. That's why it is web element. That's fine. Okay. You can tell us what you're doing. Uh, so I have searched the search intended course name and hmm. inspecting the field, uh, the whatever the auto suggestion is, so that I have, I will get the list of auto suggestions. Uh, so hmm. from the list, uh, I will uh, write the X path for okay. all the elements which are present in auto suggestions, so okay. that I can select whichever you said. Whichever you need. Oh, totally understood. Okay. Go ahead.
You can explain this line. Yes. Once. So, uh, so uh, as we have located multiple elements, the list of elements. So here uh, we have used the list of element uh, as a return type of it. So that it can store multiple elements which are look which are present in the list. Okay, okay, sure. Then uh, we have to get the size of it. So as it, it is a list, so we can do we can select the parameter or we can select the particular suggestion with the help of indexing. So for the indexing, we need to get the size of the auto suggestions. Okay. We have size method. Okay. Element. Oh. I said fifth element I need. Fifth element. I don't think it will work. Okay. I have just printed here the value so that I get the size. That's what that's what I, I am thinking it won't give you the right value. Let's see. Uh, it is running, but slowly it is running actually. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It is giving you zero. You can explain this line what you're writing. Yes, I'm adding weight here. After writing, please explain what kind of weight is this, what exactly it will do. Yes, yes. So it is implicit weight. So hmm. once we are writing here, it is available throughout the program. That's why I have used here implicit weight so that uh, I will get the suggestion count because I think due to the some browser and Selenium issue, the synchronization issue, I will get a zero count here. I, I suppose this should not resolve your issue. Let us check. Okay, okay. If it is working, you can go ahead. If you run this program for 10 times, right, uh, you will see sometime it is coming as 10, but sometime it will come as 0. Yeah. I'll guide you why. Should it be uh, 10 minus 5 or I'm, I have asked <laughs> to select the fifth component? Okay, fifth component. 10 minus, so it will select the fifth com component, right? It has 10 elements, so 10 minus 5 is, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. 
zero it uh, indexing starts from zero hmm. okay I go back to the code. Show me the console once. Okay. See, uh, I mean, maybe after this uh, interview, you can give it a try running this multiple times. Always it won't give you consistent result because this weight which you have written, right, implicit weight, it is only applicable for two methods in Selenium. One is called as find element, find element. and one is find elements. It doesn't work for send keys. So it is it is our good luck that it is working, but uh, uh, that's not always the case that it will work. You can try after the interview probably. Run it 10 times, it won't be consistent result. So here you have to either play with the explicit weight or after Sachin Tandulkar, you have to parse a thread dot sleep of let's say one second mm -hmm. because this this Sachin Tendulkar auto suggestion will take some time to load so mm -hmm. here implicit weight will not work out I yes. mean you can you can try 10 times and let me know mm -hmm. once your interview is done okay this is fine very brilliant now I want you to run the same test case but with uh, uh, with any uh, two browser or three browser if you have okay parallelly right uh huh. Parallelly, right? Uh, parallel or cross browser, anything is fine. Do you know this concept? Yes. Okay, that's great. I guess you can keep your laptop for charge, otherwise it will be off. Find my video for donors. Yeah, yeah, go. No issues.
you can let us know what are you planning to do Uh, yes, uh, I'm creating here the POM, uh, here the XML file so that I can put the uh, annotation. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I have put the uh, parameter, like parameter name there. And so that with the help of that XML file, I'm trying to execute the same test cases on different browsers. Okay. It was at bottom. I'll come at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, last one, last one. It is here. It is. You can double click on it. Is it the same? No. It is not. Oh. I don't know where it is. Um. Okay, create again then. Just give a unique name so that you can remember it. Just give it as uh, Sally. Yeah, just to remember it, that's all, yeah. So here I have used the name as a browser so, and hmm. the value is Chrome. Which browser I want to execute my test case. Here I have put the name of it and this parameter should be passed here. Uh, there is a mistake in your code. Just have a look below, below, below. Uh, little up, little up. Line number thirty-five. Oh, yes. And line number forty-one. Forty-two. Okay. Hmm. No, not this. Say Ali dot XML. Hmm. You're trying to do a parallel, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay.
testing on Firefox. Testing on which? Okay. Can I see you? Yeah. Chrome Edge. Uh, do you have Mozilla in your laptop? I don't think so. So I have. I don't know why it is not running. Okay, then. Yes, it oh. is running. Okay. Okay. Slow. Just go and run it again. Yes. Have a look. Firefox is taking time to execute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's slow. I know. Okay. That's good. All three looks pass. By the way, whatever you're running is always pass. Uh, how come? You want to talk about it? No, it is not like that. I have done mistakes also that... Uh, you have pointed out my mistake that I have uh, done uh, the encode there is typing mistake is there and I have not. No, I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I'm saying whatever you're running is always pass even though something is getting uh, some some things are getting uh, stop in middle but still everything is getting pass is what can be the reason any idea. Suppose your Mozilla one is not working at all. Still, it will give you pass only. Why? Any idea? Oh, I'm not recalling the reason. I know the reason, but I'm not able to recall right now. Okay. Okay. No issues. See, because as of it's now, you are not assert. using assertion. Assertion. Right. I have just said assert. That's right, yes. that's right. So go back to the test case. Okay. Yeah, this, this program looks fine to me. That's great. That's great. Shall we move on? Yes. Can you also talk about uh, what exactly is object class in Java? Object class is supermost class in Java, which is inherited by all other classes explicitly, either or implicitly. We can have the properties of object class. Can you uh, tell specific, me few yes, it has I have used the get class method while taking the screenshot or uh, to or uh, to like to give unique name to the screenshot. I have used that method. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh can you talk about some keywords like super keyword yes. uh, so super keyword basically uh, we can use while um, uh, doing method overriding whereas we have suppressed the parent class methods uh, parent class method that why to call the parent class method we are using a super uh, keyword to get parent class implementation together with the child class implementation we are using super keyword okay that's great also, I want to know why Java is called as object-oriented programming language. Uh, 
I think it has uh, many features, uh, different features it has, like class object and polymorphism, uh, then encapsulation abstraction. That's why it is called as object-oriented programming language. I okay. Think that. Okay, that's fine. Do you want, talk... want me to correct if I have missed something? No, everything is fine. Just you missed mm -hmm. inheritance. Other than everything is fine. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you you want to talk about what is abstraction in Java and wh why it is important? Uh, so abstraction means we are uh, uh, we uh, abstraction means we have separate or we have no, uh, not given where, where we are not given the implementation. We have we don't have the implementation. Uh, an abstraction uh, basically uh, used when we don't like uh, if I give the example uh, if we don't have the implementation uh, or we have not the knowledge of something uh, or we have not cleared the requirement then we can create the abstract method and we, uh, when we will get the cleared information or cleared requir requirement of particular thing or particular uh, requirement we can uh, override or we can get the uh, these uh, abstract method in the child class and uh, give the implementation okay what is it as well as uh, as well as we are hiding the logic uh, of the uh, logic of the code Ex we are uh, we are not exposing the logic of the code to the third party uh, to maintain the secrecy or to maintain its uh, uh, like like secrecy of between the two uh, we can say two companies or two teams. That's good. That's good. Okay. Do you have a GitHub account? Yes. Okay. You can say, name some Git commands that you know. It has Git in it. It has Git version. Then it has Git clone or to make synchronization between the local and the Git, uh, the account where, where Remote. the repository is there. Then we have get push command, we have get pull command, get fetch, get checkout, get commit. These are a few commands which I have used. In oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, that's great. Uh, you can also talk about if I can override the main method. Uh, no, we can't override the main method. Why? Because uh, it is in basically it is in child plus and it is uh, the static method which which is common among the all that is and st uh, we cannot override the static method that's why we can't override the main method. Okay, can I override the constructor? We cannot override the constructor. Why? Uh, because it is not inherited. Okay. And uh, for it. the overriding concept, we have a. Uh, a parent, uh, there is a relation between the our parent and child. That why we are not overriding the constant. Okay. See, I want to know if there is a child class and there is a parent class, and let's say both of them have the constructors, and as you said that constructors cannot be inherited, but still, if I, if I have if there is a child and there is a parent class and they have a relation, and both of them have one one constructors. If you run this program, still both of the constructors will be getting executed. Though we cannot inherit the constructor, but still all both of them will get executed. Why it happens in Java? You getting my question? Okay, can you please repeat? Yes. Suppose I'm child class and you are parent class. Suppose mm -hmm. we have a relation with each other with the help of extends keyboard. Mm -hmm. Suppose I have a constructor and you have a constructor. In my child class main method, I'm creating an object of my class, then mm -hmm. how come your constructor is also getting executed? Though we cannot mm -hmm. inherit the constructor, but why your constructor is getting executed with mine? If you're not getting, I can write the program. Let me know. Oh, I think, uh, let me try with the answer. Yeah. I think we, as soon as we create an object, the constructor will get called. And if, oh, uh, if there is a relationship between the child class and the parent class and we have created the we can get the method with the help of the child uh, child class object we can uh, get the parent class method also so i think we as we have created or uh, created the object of child uh, child class the parent class constructor will get also how come it's not getting inherited right but how come they're getting executed 
I'm not shall sure I, about this. Yes. Shall, shall I show you the program? Yes. Okay. Are you able to see my eclipse? Yes. Okay. So you can see here, I have two classes. One is Manish and one is student one. And let's say both of them have a relation with extends keyword. Student have a constructor of student one. Manish have a constructor of Manish. But when I'm going to create an object here, how the exhibition will be is something that I'm asking. You wanna talk about now? No. Um, I'm not sure about how exactly it will get formed. Hmm. You, you want to try or shall I tell you? No, you can tell me whatever uh, I thought I have already told you. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay. Just a minute. So Sally, just for understanding purpose, I'm going to print here something. Let's say one, just to show you the output. And here I am writing, let's say two. And when I'm going to run it, one and two, both of them are getting executed. You want to tell now how come? Okay, so this is happening because of a super calling strategy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, every constructor first line is always a super calling statement. No matter you write it or don't write it, it is present. Yes, yes. So if you, even though you don't mention it, it is present. And parameterize. Uh, yeah, so it can be either parameterized or non-parameterized, implicit or explicit, right? See, if, if you don't write it and you make your parent constructor as parameterized, then you, it will not accept only. You just have a look. It will start giving you trouble because it will now ask you to forcibly add the super calling statement, which is going to be parameterized. So that is why both of the constructors are getting executed. Getting yes. idea? Yes, I knew that concept, but. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just asking, do you know API testing? Yes. Okay, just asking uh, how many status code you have seen and you can uh, like tell me about each status code that you know. Uh, I have faced few uh, error codes, like first it is 200 okay, which is for uh, positive response. Then it is uh, in our system. Uh, I'm getting the five not three, which which is service not available. Uh, means uh, uh, we we are storing our config file at particular location, and from that server or for from that machine we are getting the response. If that particular machine is down, then uh, we were getting the five not three. Uh, service yeah. unavailable. Then yeah. it is 404. It is uh, not found error. The yeah. uh, the resource you are looking for is not found. If there is some mistake in my URL yeah. or I have not uh, configured my, suppose there is a new URL and I have not configured the URL in my config file, then I will get the 404 error. And sometimes it is 500 error which is 500 internal server error, which is from the server side, there is some mis uh, mistake. We, we can say there is mismatch in the response from the server, then we will get the 500 internal server error. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, Sally, I'm done with my interview. Uh, 
so some feedbacks uh, that I can provide you. Frankly speaking, uh, you, you have a good knowledge and uh, known is God here. So I cannot expect everything to be answered from you. That's fine. But I could understand that you were knowing the concept, which is good, impressive. And uh, over a period of time, I will suggest you to uh, have a deeper uh, knowledge about the string programs because most of the interviewer will ask the first question from the string concept only and uh, array concept problems uh, interviewer generally ask whatever the question that you have not answered just go through it that would be great and uh, that's a feedback from my side uh, i don't think you will be struggling a lot to get your next job i think uh, you should be able to get a new job very soon based on the knowledge that you have as of now that's a feedback from my side if you have something to talk you can tell me. Yes, I have to prepare for the string functions because uh, the river for the reverse uh, reversing the string, I am getting struggled. Not now in this interview. In previous interview, I have answered the question, reverse the array, but she had told me uh, I have not heard that the that she wanted to put the reversed array in another array. Right. The, uh, uh, and I have printed the uh, re, uh, array in reverse manner, the int, int array in reverse manner. So she was satisfied with the answer, but she wanted to do it in another uh, array, which I don't hmm. know. Okay, got it. Got it. So I well, need to prepare for that. Yes. That's right. Every interviewer will have different opinion. Hmm. But uh, frankly speaking, uh, the way you were reversing with the help of a string buffer, let's say, uh, is not at all, I mean, in I am asking you to write a logic. See, if I'm asking someone to write a program of addition, they cannot write math.add. I'm expecting them to write the logic, so that's what makes a difference. So 